having a moment today. <laughs> um, my giggles of, I, I think I'm in the wrong, in, um, I think I'm in the wrong profession because I, I judge myself for not actually liking people. It's really funny. The world, people, our collective society in general, some of the fucking madness that's out there. Do you know what I mean? Sometimes. And then the flip side of that, there's other situations and you're in ceremony or you see something beautiful, or you're with your daughter and I get in this total bliss state of, God, I love humanity. Isn't everything amazing? It's all so good. And then we also have moments of the opposite of that, where we go, shit, people are just fucking crazy and selfish. And I, yes, yes. And I feel like it's when I'm not doing enough self-care that I can kind of get, get triggered a little bit with my work and I'm giving too much and I'm over giving. And I've spent like last weekend in ceremony. I think there was ceremony even the weekend before that. Um, then Cambo ceremonies in the week, as well as doing all of my other stuff. And if I if I overload my plate with, it feels, feels like beautiful things because I love holding space. But then after that, I feel a little bit like, whoa, I'm then out of capacity. And then it's really funny what I call in. Then I tend to get lots of questions from people that aren't my clients and people just almost texting and emailing from social media asking um, asking for a lot for free, basically. They sort of want help, advice, coaching, um, and they're expecting almost... They don't do my registration form and register for coaching and do a session. They're a bit like, can I just... I want free advice, basically. And you wouldn't do that to, let's say, a lawyer or take your car to the garage and just say, can you just fill it up with petrol for, for nothing? You know, I don't need a service. I just need you to fill it up with petrol and expect that to happen. It's a bit like that when it comes to some people's idea of healing work and self-development work. They're a bit like, you know, you're just supposed to help and give for free. Isn't that what you do? It's like you, you wouldn't take that approach in with a lawyer or someone like that. You know, you're, you're very much like, OK, I know this is paid for time. I'm on the clock. I'm expecting a bill at the end of this. And it's just those those differences and I've got to be very clear um, because that's not the norm and it's expected that I'm doing all of this healing work for free I've got to be really clear about my boundaries and what I will and won't do um, you know so I'm in a, just a little bit of a place of self-love and instead of it's it's nice that that's a trigger that I know when I've overdone it because those things are coming into my space. And I go, ooh, that's shown me to pause, to take some time, to nourish myself, to slow down and come, uh, come back into regulation, regulate me, which is really interesting. And all it is when we get these things chucked in our space is just a reminder. It's like, hold on. I'm just now reminding you, take it easy, rather than me attaching to it and going down a hole and thinking, oh my God, I'm so overworked and all of these people now are stressing me out. It's just a nice, uh, a nice reminder for me to slow down. So I gladly thank the universe and I'm going to take some time for myself this afternoon. Ah, a bit